Many people have accused me of committing an immoral political act here, of using fundamentally serious material in a flippant and treacherous way. And I suppose, I suppose, if I were to appear as a ghost at some bar of literary history, a hundred years from now, in the company of men like Maxim Gorky on the one hand and Damon Runyon on the other, representing the two extremes of seriousness and indifference, that I might indeed feel that with the sort of material that I have had to deal with, that great, resounding, sulfurous novels of the Dickensian sort could have been written, instead of which I have compromised with what possibly I, were I a severe critic, would denounce as the verbal equivalent of tiddlywinks. And yet, I go back to my first point. Had I written these great, solemn, reverberating novels, it is likely that they would never have seen the light of day. At least I have crept into a little bit of light with this strange trick of slyness learned from a master in his field, whom I salute, Damon Runyon.